What I know today is what the President of the United States knows, that it would have been offensive and incomprehensible to consciously leave an American behind, no matter what, to leave an American behind in the hands of uh, people who would torture him, cut off his head, do any number of things, and we would consciously choose to do that. That's the other side of this equation. I don't think anybody would think that is the appropriate thing to do. And, and, and you know, it, it seems to me we have an ability, we know we have the ability, to be able to deal with people who want to threaten Americans or threaten the United States. And if that's what they go back on their word to do, or if the Qataris don't enforce what they've done, we have any number of avenues available to us to be able to deal with that. Now, one of the members of the Taliban, these detainees um, from Guantanamo, has already vowed to return to Afghanistan, return to the fight, and kill Americans. And the head of the Haqqani Network who was holding him said, look, we have a pretty good idea here now. Let's kidnap more Americans. I mean, what do you say to the families of American soldiers that perhaps these guys could go back and kill Americans again? Well, first of all, uh, propaganda is propaganda, and they'll say whatever they want to stir the waters. So people should not be lured in by their propaganda, number one. Number two, uh, we are ending our combat role. Our combat role in Afghanistan is over. We're going to have very few, uh, you know, people in that kind of position on occasion where, uh, but I, I honestly, uh, I just think that's a lot of baloney to be truthful with you. And to whatever degree it may be true, they will wind up putting themselves at the mercy of those people who are very effective, who are there, who will deal with those matters.